new tonight. Just a couple of hours ago, Governor Eric Holcomb laid out where we stand as Hoosiers in the annual State of the State address and what he hopes we can accomplish over the next year. Now, 24 Hour News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams was at that speech and joins us live now from the State House. David. Well, good evening to you both. This is the copy of the governor's speech from tonight right here at the State House. In it, it outlines what the governor hopes to accomplish this year in 2018. The speech heavily focused on education and jobs. Border to border. In his second State of the State, Governor Eric Holcomb made it clear while he wants to continue to focus on bringing jobs to Indiana, we also now need to focus on filling the jobs already in our state. Right now we have 85,000 jobs in Indiana unfilled because employers simply can't find the people equipped with the skills they need. And add in the IADC's 30,000 new jobs with even more on the way this year. Not to mention the more than one million jobs to be filled over the next 10 years as baby boomers retire. The key to that, he says, is education. By 2019, the governor wants to increase the number of work-based internships and apprenticeships in the state from 12,000 to 50,000. He also wants to create a new education to career pathways cabinet to drive legislation and funding for this plan. Far outside the classroom, Holcomb's speech also touched on the opioid crisis in Indiana and how he plans to fight it. We'll seek to increase the number of opioid treatment locations from 18 to 27. So nearly everyone in the state will be less than an hour's drive to treatment. Democratic leaders slammed parts of the governor's speech, saying some of it missed the mark and fell flat. As far as boldness and leadership, I thought it lacked both of those. Uh, he uh, specifically talked about the opioid problem and talked about a couple of the areas that they were going to do to try to curb that. But I was truly disappointed to, to not hear the word mental health in any of that sentence. I guess I was expecting more of a bold vision or a bold idea in terms of what do we need to do to the workforce uh, system in the state of Indiana, because clearly what we're doing right now is just not working. Republican leadership applauded the governor's stance on issues like the opioid crisis and DCS. As most of you are aware, we've already scheduled uh, for upon immediately upon the uh, publication of the circulation of the uh, DCS uh, consultants report, uh, a special meeting of the Legislative Council to focus on that after members have had a time to, uh, to look at it and digest it. And that's precisely what the governor ought to be doing. Now, also in that speech, the governor touched on infant mortality as well as infrastructure in that speech. Now, in terms of DCS, the governor uh, said that he, as you heard, would get those progress reports and report out to the public and legislature. The governor's office didn't give a clear answer on if those reports would be ready by the time the session concludes. But the governor's office did say that they didn't rule out the possibility Ability, uh, for the governor calling for a special session if he felt like there needed to be one. We're live at the State House. David Williams, 24 Hour News 8. 